Hello, this is a short tutorial on how you can take a document that you use for your classes like a rotation schedule of activities, links to PowerPoint presentations or YouTube videos or Google documents that you utilize in your class. So since we're pushing in, this is something I've been thinking about on how I can quickly access my own documents without having to log in or rely on the teacher's Google Drive so that that way they keep their privacy and I can access my documents quickly. So I've put this together to illustrate what I am going to do and I think it's very simple and I'll walk you through it. So I've created here a test document, okay? Let's just call this Fine Arts Rotation Activities and I'm calling it my test link, okay? And I've got a, an access to a Google document and I've got a YouTube video, okay? So let's say that I, when I go teach third, fourth, or fifth grade, I want to get access to this. So what's the easiest way? Well, the truth is that if you go to share and you look at, let's go to copy link, let's go to, let's adjust who can see the link, okay? So uh, in my case, I am going to select anyone with the link. I'm going to select anyone with the link, okay? And the reason I'm doing this is because if I go to another teacher's computer, that's a different individual. So I want to make sure that whoever I access, I can just open the link and it works. So I'm going to select anyone with the link. I'm going to copy the link. But the problem is that this link is really long. If you look at it, I don't have time to sit and type every one of these letters and I'll probably get it wrong. So you have two options. If you use the district's URL, all you have to do in order to find that is if you go to the district um, set of tiles and you type the word URL, you will find this icon that says URL shortener. If you click this, okay, and you drop in your link, notice there is my document sharing link that I copied earlier. Again, I got that from here that you use when you share documents. If I set create URL, now it's a lot shorter. So in theory, I could write this down and I could type this up in any class I go to. But I still think this is too long and there are other free URL shorteners out there that are even better, like this one. This one is free-url-shortener.rb.gy if you put your link on here, now it turns that unbelievably long link into this, this very, very short rb.gy slash hc5sn8. So if I copy this, right, let's try it out. If I copy this now and I click on, let's see, control C. There's the bell, and now I drop it. I, let's say I type it, it's really short. I can log into any teacher computer, and I can type this in using the teacher's keyboard. Now, boom, I have all of my links to all of my videos and all of my activities and all of my PowerPoints, so now I can quickly access that without having to log in and without infringing on the teacher's privacy and their email or their Google Drive. And so now that I have access to that, I can open up activities and then I pulled up a second tab here with just things that I've been using or, or are planning on using like uh, videos to expose the kids to music, uh, practicing rhythms, virtual piano, PowerPoint presentation about some things that I've done in the past. Um, and so basically now I can really quickly open and show the kids and, and, and perform all of my activities in that 30 minute window without wasting any time. So I hope, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is my plan to you to go with this. Uh, I think it'll work because once you set your link to share with everyone, then, then there shouldn't be any problems accessing it from every computer on campus when that teacher's already logged in on their on their Google Meet. So hope that helps. And I am going to now close this video here. 
until OBS. All right, thanks for watching.